okay good morning students today we are executing php slip number 4 i will just show you the question what is the question about okay so the question is about we have to design a php script okay which will have a html form we have to accept two strings from the user we have to check whether first string that is appears at the small string appears at the start of the last string then we have to again replace the string okay we have to take a replace we have to accept a text box will which will replace the string and again we have to split the string into separate words okay so i've already started with the services i will just show you the html page how the html page will look like okay your html form will look like this we have to take three strings we have to take three text box first string second string and string for replace and we have three radio buttons Operands that first replace and split, and we have two buttons, okay and cancel. Okay, so we will start with the coding part. Okay, I create a file that is my slip number four. Slip number four. Okay, I have started with HTML. I start with head. In head, we have title. Title I give as slip number four. I close my title and I close my head. I start with my body. I start with my form. In form, we have two methods: action. I take action equal to My slip four dot php and second thing we have method method I take as post method is my post and now we start with the uh, screen design I take my first string enter first string. My input type is text. My name equal to str one. Okay, so second same thing. I will again. I copy and paste this. This is your enter string. to replace this is enter string to replace input type is text and this i take as str okay now we have to take radio buttons the radio buttons first one is i take input type equal to radio i take id equal to 1 I take name equal to ch and value equal to again the one and this is your first occurrence. Okay, I just copy this. Second one is again input type equal to radio, ID equal to two, name equal to CH, value equal to two, and this is your replace. Third one again I will copy this. I paste here input type equal to radio, ID equal to three, name equal to CH, and value equal to three, and this is your split. This is your split. Okay, we have to take two buttons. First one, input type equal to I take submit and value for this I give as okay. Second button again I will take as input type equal to reset and value for this I take as cancel. Okay, I close my form. 
I close my form, I close my body, and this is my closing of my HTML. Okay, I will just save my program. Let's see the output. My file name is slip4 and my folder name is form. I type http colon double slash localhost slash my folder name is form. My file name is slip4.html and I press enter. Okay, so your form will look like this. We have to take three strings. First string, second string, string for replace. We have three radio buttons. First occurrence, replace, split, and we have two buttons, OK and cancel. Now we have to write code for your PHP file. OK, I've started with my PHP. We have to take variable. This is my first variable, str1 equal to, this is your dollar post method. And in this, the name of your first text box, that is str one ending with semicolon this is your second variable str2 equal to your again post method and this is your name of second text box that is str2 ending with semicolon this is your third variable strit equal to dollar str post and this is the name of third text box that is str ending with semicolon and this is your fourth variable for your radio button that is ch choice Again, dollar post method and the name of radio button we have used that is ch. Okay, I will just print what input we have taken from the user. Okay, your first string, your first string is dollar str1. This is your break line, we are ending with semicolon. I just copied this. Okay, this is your second string. This is your second string, dollar str2, and this is your third one, string two, string to replace. And this is your str ending with semicolon. Okay, first we have to check the length of the string. I am just using one if loop. HDR alien string length is an inbuilt function to check the length of the string in this I check str1 that is dollar str2 if this condition is true then we are using switch case we are using switch case because in this we have radio button radio button can select only one value at a time okay that's why we are using switch case in switch case, I take my dollar ch. Your case number one. Case number one, we have to check the occurrence at the first. Okay, for that, I'm using my dollar pos. Okay, I'm taking one variable as dollar position equal to I'm using inbuilt string function that is str pos. And then in this, I'm using my two strings. I'm checking my two strings. That is str1, comma, dollar str2, ending with semicolon. Okay. If my dollar pos is equal to equal to zero, if it, if this condition is true, if it is equal to equal to zero. Then I will just print an echo like echo string dollar str2 is present at the start at the start of my dollar str1 and this is your break line. Okay, if this condition is false, if this condition is false, in else part I will just write, in else part I will just write as that it is echo your dollar string, string dollar str2 is not present at the start the start 
of dollar str1 and this is your break line that is br ending with semicolon Okay, this is your first case. Now, second case, we have to replace the string. Okay, but before first case, we have to give a break ending with semicolon. Okay, now this is your case number two. Case number two and case number two, we have to replace. Okay, so I take one variable as dollar str four equal to. In this, I just take one. That is my end build function str replace str underscore replace. This is a replace string function. In this, we have to just take the value. This is my dollar str two. Okay, first is to find. Second one is to replace, and third one is the actual string. Okay, dollar str two, str and str one ending with semicolon. Okay, and in echo, I just print after. Replacing string is dollar str four. Okay, this is your replace ending with semicolon. Your case is completed. So I will just give a break ending with semicolon. Okay, now this is your next case. That is case number three. Case number three, we have to split. Okay, for splitting, I take one variable as dollar s equal to. This is a inbuilt array function to split the word into separate letter. That is P R E G underscore split. In this first thing, we have to take pattern. Pattern is double slash or two times dash. Okay, so we are using pattern as double slash, comma, and your string. My string is H T R two. Okay. Ending with semicolon. Okay, for array printing, we have loop that is for each loop. And this, I take dollar s as dollar v. This is the inbuilt format for printing an array for for each loop. And in echo, I just print my slash e dollar v. And this is your break line. We are ending with. Semicolon. My case is completed, so I will just give break ending with semicolon. Okay, so this is the completion of your if part. We have three loops. Okay, now we have else part. If your condition is false, I copy this entire program. I copy. I paste this entire program in else part, and just I will replace. The position of string one with string two. This is string two. I make a string one as two and string two as string one. Okay. This is your string one. This becomes string two. I'm just replacing string one with string two and string two with string one. This is string one. And this is string two. This is string one, and then becomes this is a string two. This becomes string one. That's all, and this is the end of your PHP tag. I save my program. Let's see the output. I reload my page before putting the input. Okay, first string I take for example S Y B B A C A P H P S Y B B A C A. Second string I take S Y B B A C A, and replace I take like A B C, and I press on first occurrence. Okay, I press OK. Okay, some error is there on line number twenty-six. Let's see what is the error on line number twenty-six. Here we have to give semicolon. We have given colon. I save my program. Again, I will go to my browser. I reload my page. Again, I take input and click on first occurrence. Okay, again it is showing me line number fifty-four. Okay, error coming. That means we are in perfect condition. I save my program. Again, I will go to my browser. I reload my page. 
and I click on first occurrence. Okay, so this is the output. We have taken first string as this, second string as this, third string is this. Okay, now the output is string SYBBCA is present at the start of SYBBCA. Okay, my SY second string is SYBBCA it is present at the start. Okay, for example, I change the output as PHP. Now PHP is not present at the start and I press OK. So it is saying that string PHP is not present at the start of SYBBSA, PHP, SYBBSA. So this is working. Now second thing I take as replace and I click OK. OK, it is giving me error on line number 28. Let's see what is the error. Line number 28 we have. It is giving string 2, string 1 and dollar str1 okay we have stored in variable that is dollar str4 and the error it is giving like undefined variable str1 str1 Okay, we have taken S as capital. I make it as small. We have taken S capital for string one. I save my program. Again, I will go to my browser. I reload my page. Again, I will take input. Okay, and I place press on replace. So this is the output. S Y B B C is replaced with A B C, and the output is A B C T H B A B C. Okay, third one. I click on split. I press OK. So my S Y B B C A is split into different words so this is your output number three the SYBBAC is split into separate words okay so this is your step number four student please execute once thank you